we are still going to look at the relationship between the line segment and the circle. But this time around, you can see what we have here. What part of the circle is this? The radius. The radius. So we are going to look at the radius. We are going to look at how the radius, radius compares with the distance between the center of the circle and the line segment. Okay, so this is the radius you can see. This all the way this is the radius of the circle. So now let's put it back here. Now let's use this strip of paper and imagine that we are drawing a line. Look at it from the from the center. Can you see it? From the center of the circle to the distance of the for, to the distance between the center of the circle and the and the line segment. What do we call this? The radius. The radius. So suppose we say the radius, and of course now this line segment, when it's like this, what do we say? Is it external to the circle or is is it second or is it tangent external it's external so we put it here here this line segment is external to the circle right yes okay now we are going to look at the distance between the center of the circle and the line segment and also look at the radius the radius of the circle which we have here So let's see now this distance. Look at it. It's actually perpendicular to the radius. Okay. Now, when the line segment is external, as we see, what will you say between um, the, what will you say the relationship is between the radius? And the distance of the line segment from the center of the circle. Now I'll put this as a radius. R, this stands for radius. Okay. These are radius here. And then the distance between the line segment and the center of the circle. We are using this paper to represent the distance. So we say D. Okay. So as I said, our radius is R. Okay. I'll put that here. Our radius is R. What about our distance? We say D. That is the distance. Distance between the line segment and the center of the circle. Now, when the line segment is second, I mean, sorry, um, external, as we see it like that, what will you say the relationship between uh, the relationship of the distance and the radius is? Is the distance between the line segment and the center of the circle greater than, equal to, or less than the radius? Greater than. Is greater, you can see it. Can, I think so. I'm going to use this. I'm going to say that when the line segment is external to the circle, we say that the distance, let me get something and represent distance again. I will say the distance. Put it here. The distance. What do you say? The distance. Is it greater than or less than? Greater than. The radius. So I'll say the distance is greater than the radius. We see it right there, didn't it? Yes. So we see that when the line segment is 
second to the circle external I mean external thank you when the line segment is external to the circle the distance between the line segment and the center of the circle which we have as D is greater than the, the radius of the circle suppose I make my radius my first term of comparison If I make my radius my first term of comparison, what will I say? Look at the radius. If I say, is the radius greater than or equal to or less than the distance when the line segment is external? If I, say, if I make my radius my first term of comparison, it's less than the radius is less than the distance. So I'll put my radius. is less than the distance so can you tell me about the relationship of the radius and the distance of the line segment from the center when the line segment is external when the line segment is external the, di the radius the distance of the circle center of the circle is the distance of the line segment to the, the center of the circle, circle is greater than the radius good suppose you want to make your radius the first term of the Comparison. When the line segment is external to the center of the line segment, to, from the center of the circle, the distance between the center of the circle and the line segment, to the radius, it's less than. When you compare, the radius is less than the distance when the line segment is external. Yes. So that is an important thing for you to know. Now, look at what we have here. What will you call this when the line seg when the line segment is like this in terms of the circle? Second. The second. The line segment touches the circle in at two points, right? Yes. Okay. So put second. Now what? This orange line, what do we call that part of the circle? The radius. The radius, so I'll put it. This is the radius of the circle. Now show me the distance between this line segment and the center of the circle. Center circle line segment. Okay. Okay. So I'll put I'll use this to represent the distance between the I think distance between the center of the circle and the line segment so I'll put this as my distance Now look at the radius. When the line segment is second to the circle, what will you say the relationship of the radius is to the distance? Is the, is the distance, let me make my distance my first term of comparison, is the distance greater than, less or less than, or equal to the radius? Less than. The distance is less than the radius so I'll represent that kind of my distance is less than the radius where 
D is equal to the distance between the center of the circle and the line segment and R is the radius of the circle. So we see that when the line segment is second, the distance is less than the radius. Okay, suppose I make my radius my first term of comparison. When the line segment is second, what will you say? Is the radius greater than or less than or equal to the distance? Greater than. The radius is greater than the distance. So, put my radius. is greater than the distance. You see it right there? Yes. So what other way can I place my line segment in terms of the circle? Tangent. So let's do that. So for us to have a tangent relationship, we are drawing a circle this time around using our radius. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. So we are drawing a circle using our radius. We have drawn a circle. So now let us get a line segment. Now, can this time around, I want you to place the line segment tangent to the circle. So this is a line segment. Place it tangent to the circle. line segment is tangent to the circle, right? How many points? At how many points does it touch? Does the line segment touch the circle? One point. One point. So I say the line segment is tangent to the circle. Tangent. Yes. Now, so let, let's look at our radius. Can you see the radius? Yes. And the distance between the line segment and the center. So when the line segment is tangent to the circle, as we see it here, what will you say about the relationship between the radius and the distance of the line segment and the center of the circle? If, is the distance greater than or equal to or less than the radius? Equal to. The distance is equal to the radius. So let's put this our radius here. And our distance. Let's get our distance. So this is our distance. So we see that when the line segment is tangent to the circle, the distance of the line segment to the center of the circle is equal to The distance is equal to 
the radius. Can we see that? We are a D is a distance of the line segment to the center of the circle and R is the radius of the circle. What about if we make our radius our first term of comparison? What will it say? Is the radius greater than or less than or equal to the distance when the line segment is tangent to the circle? Equal to. The radius is still equal to the line. Is, the radius is still equal to the distance. And we see it right there. So these are the three possible relationships or that we can have when we look at the radius, how it compares to the distance. So we have looked at the three or six different um, possible relationships between the distance and the radius of a circle depending on whether it is tangent, secant or external.